What is it that God has called you to do? I think a lot of people really struggle with this, but what I want to look at this morning is just a, a straightforward passage of Scripture that tells us what it is we're called to do and even uses those words. Ephesians chapter 4 in the first three verses, he says, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. Now that word vocation and called is the same root word from both of those in the Greek language. And it just basically says, this is the calling that God has called you to. So there it is. He's going to tell us what it is. He's going to start with the attitude of our calling, the attitude toward that which we're called to. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. He uses two words here that aren't real popular in our day, and that is lowliness and meekness. Uh, these are words which basically mean humility, to humble ourselves, not to think too highly of ourselves, uh, the opposite of being prideful. What's interesting is, is these two words are used to describe the Lord Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, he says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. So it makes sense that our Lord is calling us to follow him. He's calling us to follow him with the same attitude that he had. Well, when we humble ourselves, what we do is, <clears throat> is we look to what we're called to, and that is forbearing one another in love with long suffering. The word long suffering has to do with patience. So humility, patience, and then this word forbearing. And that means to to suffer long with, or to put up with, or bear with. In other words, he's saying that in order to love, it's going to take these components within us to truly love our brothers and sisters in Christ. And it's going to be meekness. It's going to be lowliness. It's going to be long-suffering and forbearance. We put all of these together. We don't think too highly of ourselves. And we have a lot of patience with other people. And that's the attitude that we have in love, ready to love for the long haul. And he says in verse 3, endeavoring. Now that's a word that means to work hard at, to give diligence to. So this is, this is our calling that we're called to work at. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace to keep the unity of the Spirit. Now, we don't bring that unity. The Holy Spirit brings that unity. And so in the body of Christ, we are a part. Each one of us is a part of that body. And if you were to remove a part of your body, well, the body loses out and that part will eventually dry up and die because it can't exist apart from the body. And so Every part within the body of Christ should be endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. That's our calling. I wonder, when you seek God in prayer and about the direction for your life, I wonder what part that plays, because this one is spelled out specifically in the Word of God, that this is what we are called to, to be diligent about working, doing our part to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. See, the Holy Spirit has brought unity to us, unity of doctrine, unity of purpose, unity of our love for the Lord Jesus Christ and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. He brings that unity to us, and now we're supposed to keep that and this bond, this glue that, that glues brothers and sisters in Christ together is the bond of peace. And we should work hard at keeping that unity and keeping that peace in the body of Christ. That's our calling. That's what we're called to. And I just want to encourage you today to focus on that and prayerfully engage your brothers and sisters in Christ with these things. Don't think too highly of yourself. Humble yourself. Have, have patience with one another. Forbearance in love. And keep that unity. Uh, it, it's absolutely essential. God bless you. Have a great day.